Hi. Uh, I went to Boston Comic Con 2016 this past weekend, and I had a great time. So I wanted to do a, um, a Comic Con haul video to showcase kind of what uh, I got there. Uh, here's a quick look at the uh, the book, the free uh, Comic Con book they gave out. But uh, I'll go through my uh, various uh, things that I picked up. One of the first artist booths I went to visit was uh, Wish Coy, uh, is, her, is her name, or her real name I guess is Mary Taylor, but she goes by Wish Coy. And uh, I actually had her do a commission for me, um, original piece of art of uh, Wonder Girl. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, she didn't in color like this. I, I liked it. I thought she did a good job. Uh, as well as that, I um, purchased two prints from her I thought were pretty good. This Harley. I like that. And uh, this one here I like even better. It's uh, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Harley together. So these three pieces. So that, that was pretty good for, I guess, a relatively unknown artist. But... Uh, I thought she had some pretty good stuff. Now another, I guess, uh, lesser known artist booth that I went to visit was, uh, what's her name? It's uh, Mel Doodles is what she goes by and you can find her on uh, online. But I got uh, this really cool print over here and uh, this Harley is actually a big sticker and a Batgirl and a Wonder Woman bookmark. And then I got these little tiny stickers here, which I thought were pretty cool. She actually had large prints of all this stuff as well. Um, I I just wanted to get a, like a variety of different things uh, and not spend too much, but uh, I thought she had some pretty cool stuff. These other pieces I have from the artist uh, Janine or Jenny Cambrosine. Uh, this one piece here, it's uh, it looks like a pen, right? It's really cute. It's actually a mirror. Uh, I figured I would get that for uh, my, my younger niece. But the, the book here was pretty good. Uh, it actually has some art from some other artists as well. Uh, I'm not familiar with all these artists, but I thought there was some pretty cool artwork in here. Uh, this was this one I know is, is by that artist, uh, Je Jeannie Cambersine. I'll, I'll, I'll try to make sure I have the appropriate information on there. But that was pretty cool. Now another, I, I think she's a lesser known artist. I mean, I actually was following her on Twitter before I met her at the show, uh, is uh, Peng Peng Art. I, I can't remember her real name, but it, it, she goes by Peng Peng, Peng Art. And uh, this is a, like kind of like a mini art card. I liked it. I, I, sp I like Wonder Girl, um, but I like, you know, Batgirl, Wonder Girl, and Supergirl. So that was pretty cool. And like, here's her like uh, official card here. Uh, I don't know if there's anything on back. Oh yeah. I really like this uh, mermaid here. She didn't have a print of that. I would have gotten that if she had it. But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Another artist booth who I visited was uh, Agnes Garbowska. Um, I wish I had more money to spend in her booth because she had some really good stuff. She, I, I really like her stuff. She does a lot of uh, My Little Pony stuff. Um, but I got this little sucker. Um, I like it. I also visited uh, Jim Mafood. Uh, I got to know his artwork from doing Tank Girl, so I wanted to get the Tank Girl little sketchbook he had. Oh, this is this is my favorite picture by him of Tank Girl. He did a really good job on that. So I figured maybe I'd just flip through and, and show a few of the uh, drawings in here. He's got a very different style. Um, I think at first I was like, "What? What is this?" But uh, it's kind of grown on me, and I, I really like his stuff. So that's just a little bit out of that. Now I also went to Dan Parent's booth, uh, and he does uh, Archie comics. That's what he's well known for, I guess, for the last 30 years. But he has this new series, Die Kitty Die, and uh, I guess it's going to come out in Chapter House Comics. Uh, but it hasn't actually come out yet. He just has this, uh, he had this hardbound version that I thought was pretty cool. And I've actually already read it, and uh, I, I like it. Um, this character is kind of like a, a, a witch. <laughs> and uh, she has her own comic book series in the comic. And her uh, creators want to kill her off to, to boost seals. So uh, <laughs> it's kind of humorous. I, I think they, you know, it's kind of done tongue in cheek. Uh, I really like the artwork. Uh, Dan Parent and Fernando Ruiz do this together. 
So that was pretty cool. And I also got a sketchbook by Dan Parent, and it's got some uh, really cool stuff uh, that I'm guessing they're sketches he's done at conventions and stuff. So there's like different twists on stuff. Uh, you know, having the he having them done as like heroes. The Archie's done as heroes. Oh, he does a really good Wonder Woman. I wish I had gotten a Wonder Woman sketch by him. Uh, but uh, let's go through that a little bit more. Yeah, I thought there was just some cool stuff in there. So I got those two from him. Uh, if I seen him in another convention, I would definitely get some different stuff from him, maybe a sketch. And I also went to Ming Doyle's booth, and uh, I had her sign some books, but I also, she had this new series going on right now. And I had seen this cover probably in my local comic shop, but uh, I didn't get it. But it, it, I really liked this cover, so I was like, well, why don't I get this? Um, it's actually a pretty interesting story of an uh, American trapeze artist that goes to France. And uh, it's very reality-based, and uh, there's this mysterious phantom that appears, and apparently only she sees it. <laughs> so um, I haven't actually finished it. I'm only halfway through the story. But uh, it looks interesting. I'll, I'll probably get the whole series. It's a four-issue limited series by Jet, <clears throat> Jet City Comics. That was now, I also spent some time uh, talking to Tim Seeley and having him sign some comic books. I'm more familiar with him as being a writer on books like Grayson, and uh, I really liked his work on Effigy. Um, I also brought some books for a friend of mine that he, he reads a series called Revival. Um, and I'm not too familiar with his art, but uh, he did uh, Hack and Slash as an artist, so I got his adult coloring book, which uh, is pretty cool. He, he actually is a good artist. Um, so I'm kind of glad I got this. There's some, there's some cool stuff in here. So that's pretty cool. Now I did pick up a, a couple uh, regular comics. They were in the dollar bin, just a couple. I was just kind of passing by and I had a few spare bucks. So I had to get a damn parent. Uh, for some reason, I, I you know, I really like his artwork, especially Betty and Veronica stuff. Uh, so I got that. I guess the cover's the best part of that. But I also got this old X Factor. Uh, I was a big fan of that back in the 80s, so I was like, I have to get that. So I uh, got those two from the dollar bin. Now, uh, Aspen Comics was at the convention as well, and uh, I wish I knew they were there early. I went there for two days. If I had known they were there at first, I probably would have gone to see them on the first day, I and I might have bought more stuff. Uh, I talked to the writer, Tom Hutchison, and uh, you see, it's hard to get these at my local comic shop. Uh, I might have picked up one or two of the different series he works on. Uh, like, uh, what, what, there's one series called uh, Creeper that looks pretty good, as well, well as uh, uh, a, like a Wizard of Oz version of comics. But I got this one, Shire Razad, I think it's called. And uh, I think I got this one mainly because of the, uh, I like the artist, Mike Chrome. Um, I'm familiar with him from uh, some Xenoscope stuff he's done. And uh, let me just kind of go through the book real quick, showing some of the artwork. Because there is some pretty cool artwork in here. Uh, some mermaid. <laughs> they, they, they do show like a cover gallery in the back. Um, which is cool. I guess it would be cool to get get like these connecting covers and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, Aspen Comics. I haven't actually read that yet, but it looks really interesting. I, I'd like to get more of their books in the future. Now another artist who I went to visit was Jamie Tyndall, and uh, I've kind of liked his art for a while. He does a lot of stuff for Xenoscope as well, and. Uh, I had actually talked with him last year at Boston Comic Con, but I didn't get anything. Oh, I think I got a comic from him because I liked his cover. But uh, I've been wanting to get one of these art books because they look pretty cool. And uh, he does a really great Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah, I think he does. Uh, well, here's some X Men characters, but uh, Psylocke, he does a really good job at Psylocke. Let me see if I can find that Psylocke. 
here's the Psylocke, and I think that's pretty cool, and he shows the black and white as well. Um, I'd like to get some of his other art books, um, but this was like one of the last things I got on my last day at the convention. So maybe in the future I'll pick up something more from him. I thought that was cool. Now another artist who I've known for a while, Arthur Adams. I remember his work back in the 90s with like especially the X-Men. And he was at the convention and uh, I got a couple things from him. This really great mermaid print that looks really awesome. I really like the coloring. I guess someone else did the coloring. He didn't do the coloring. And this, this art book as well. It's got some really cool artwork in here. Um, you know, colors mixed in with uh, black and whites. Um, let's see here. Magic. He does some really good stuff with like monsters and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can find one. Of oh yeah, Creature from the Black Lagoon. He did a really good job with that. Really a lot of detail. Oh yeah, there's that mermaid bet in black and white. Try to find one more page here to show. Grim Reaper. Oh yeah. This dinosaur in King Kong. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now another great artist who I went to visit at Boston Comic Con was uh, Billy Tucci. And uh, I've seen some of his work with Xenoscope and he's done some really good stuff. So I got uh, three prints from him. This uh, pixie, which was really cute. And then this... Uh, Xenoscope's Robin Hood. I've been actually this was one of my favorite pieces of art by him, and I was finally able to get it. It was like a exclusive cover with Xenoscope. It was like a hundred dollars for the, the comic, but the hell with that. I got the print. Uh, what did I spend on the print? I think I got the three of them for forty bucks. So that's relatively cheap considering. And uh, this Wonderland uh, print, which was also pretty cool. So uh, some really great prints there from Billy Tucci. I'd definitely get more from him um, in the future. Now another artist I went to visit was Mark Brooks, and I'm familiar with him from his work on Star Wars. Uh, he's doing a lot of good covers with them, and he's also working on the Han Solo miniseries right now. And I saw this print of uh, Emma Frost, and I was like, well, I have to get this. It was really, really cool print. So I splurged and got this as well. Now another artist whose stuff I like uh, is Ken Lashley. He's working on Uncanny X-Men right now. Um, he's done some covers and insides for them. He's kind of splitting the art chores in that book with uh, Greg Land. But I talked with him for a while, had him sign a one comic, and then I saw this Harley print and I was like, wow, that's, that's cool, and I just had to get it. It's like one of the best pieces I've seen him do. Uh, so yeah, yeah, he's a really great guy. He was really cool meeting. Now another him. artist that was there, and I had never heard of him before, but he had some really cool um, art. Um, he did like old timey uh, pinup style, like 1950s pinup style. I got this one, but he had some more traditional like Harleys and Batgirls, kind of done like pinup style. Um, now I think you can find his stuff. Nathan Z. I'll, I'll include his actual information. Uh, so in case you're interested, um, he had some really cool art. I would have liked to go have gotten more, but I did get, did get this one, so that's cool. Now the last of my stuff is from my favorite artist, uh, Chrissy Zulo. Um, she just does some really amazing stuff. I had wanted to do get, I had seen her do a Wonder Woman, like a Gil Gadot Wonder Woman, uh, but she didn't actually have that as a print. I guess that was some, something she had done for uh, Fandango. But I did get her Ray, which is really, really awesome. And this other one, I'm not familiar with the characters, <laughs> but I really like this picture. Um, I really like the depth of it, like the robot, uh, the giant robot in the background, stuff like that. And also got the uh, Snow White here, which is pretty cool. So she, she's she got some really cool artwork. You should check it out. I, I have. I have, in the last few years, gotten a few other prints from her that are really, really awesome. So I guess that's it. That's my haul from Boston Comic Con. Hope you enjoyed it.